Welcome back to Fallout 1.5 Resurrection. We're inside of the Rebirth base, and by we I mean me and my pupper. The other two had to stay outside. And our goal officially is to destroy the base. Uh, thankfully though, we managed to enter using our talisman as cover. And I guess since we're wearing power, power armor, they can't tell who we are, I think. So we're undercover for now, but um, let's go around and see if we can find a way to silently blow up the place, maybe? <laughs> Don't really know what's gonna happen. Try to talk to people. I could try to use all the computers. Like, maybe there's some sort of a self destruct sequence I can initiate with my hacking skills. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's a train in the background, if you can hear it. Uh, hack the security robot setup. Ooh. Hmm. Activate alarm. I don't know what the point of that would be. I mean, if I have to fight, then um, allowing the robots to... I'm, I'm assuming this would make them come to my side and help me. That would be helpful, but... If you look at how many robots there are here... Three. Is it just the three? Yeah, just the three robots against all of these other ghouls and power-armored people. Like, there's no way these are going to be enough. So they would supplement me, but <laughs> they definitely would not carry me through. Oh, wait... Oh, is this, is this one in here? I don't know if this computer would also activate this one. I, I still don't think it would be enough, though. It is only one robot. You see a door made of massive metal. Heavy metal door. TechNet. TechNet 4.1 welcomes you. User Robert, password, hack it. I guess it worked. Again, Cecilia sent me a reminder that the service robot in the canteen is broken. She just has to wait a little more. The requisition for commissioning of additional security robots is of much higher priority. I have been working on it for quite some time. I was able to connect six, six robots into the grid, but I still have one that will take a lot of work. CPU card is fried, motivator is missing, and the minigun was removed pretty clumsily. Damn it, just the search for the parts will be a lot on my nerves. I better take some time off first. Nobody will be furious because of one security robot. Hmm. Where's this leading? Search through the rest of the logs, see if there's anything interesting. Ah, uh, it's a waste of time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Check the technical diagrams of a security robot. Looks like I don't understand them. Really? Even with my science skill, I don't understand them? Uh, search for the records for missing parts of the security robot. Okay, so there's some of the parts. Is this something like I have to do or, or should do? So, CPU card. Level red 4, motivator, don't know where it is. Minigun, level yellow 3. Okay. So level 4 and 3 have parts that I need. And motivator, who the hell knows. Ooh. Well, that's helpful. Red electronic security access card used in special security scanners. This one is stamped Robert. That should get me into level 4 red, I'm guessing. So this is the one that needs to be repaired, right? Looks like it's missing its arm. Yep, not operational according to Robert's journal. It's missing a CPU card, a blah 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 blah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I wonder if... That might not be a science skill thing, repairing that. It probably isn't. It's probably... That's probably why there was a tool in that one chest. It's most likely a repair skill thing, and my repair skill is nowhere near high enough to do something like that. So I'm probably not going to be able to do that. But I can open up this table of stuff. Ooh! It's probably like the advanced... What was it called? The advanced hacking thing? Uh, yeah, this thing. The expanded lockpick set. This must be the repair version of that. It still won't be enough with my terrible repair skill.
So this place must be pretty large. If there's at least four levels. I don't know where the exit is, though. I don't see it. Maybe it's off in this corner that I can't see. I almost don't want to talk to people. Because if I talk to the wrong person, I feel like I'm going to get myself in some trouble. Like this person, for example. Yeah, uh, who are you? You must be new around here. That means you came to the right place. My name is Leonard, and my duties include welcoming any newcomers. I'm sure you have many questions. Ask away. Uh, can a ghoul really turn back into a normal human again? Is it really true? Everyone always asks that question. Well, I already know they can. Um, hmm. I don't know if I really want to know any of this in particular. Who's in charge here? Uh, we call him the Savior because that's what he signifies to us. He was the first of the Reborn. The person that I suspect escaped from that facility in the last episode. I would like to meet him. Uh, how did he start all this? Driven by his will to become a normal human again, he discovered this place and the machine within. His determination was such that he operated on himself, implanting healthy organs and flesh that were stored here for experimental purposes. Then he entered the machine, and has been reborn. Hmm. Can I meet him? Meeting the savior in person. His eyes turned dreamy for a moment. That is what everyone here would wish for. But only a few are granted their wish. He dedicates all of his time to realizing the day of rebirth for all of us. And we bless him for it. I believe that on the day when we all enter the machine, it shall be he who supervises the process. And so we'll all meet him at least once in our lives. Also kind of sounds like the savior doesn't really exist. Has anybody actually seen the savior? How did he start all this? Oh wait, I already asked that. Operate on himself. Mm -hmm. Okay, anything else I want to ask? How do I get to the other floors of the complex? New arrivals are new arrivals are only authorized to be present on this floor. Oh, after I register you in our system, you'll be authorized to access the second floor. Access to the other floors depends on the requirements of your assignment. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do a lot of talking and messing around if I want to get through without fighting. Well, go ahead and sign me up. Gladly. Kindly tell me the name you gave to the guard at the entrance. Um... I don't think I gave a name? Obviously I'm not Rena. <laughs> I mean, I am, but if I said that, obviously they would kill me and that's not the name I gave to the guard because I tried that and they did kill me. Mmm... You've already registered me? Really? I don't remember you, but I guess it's possible. There's still so many newcomers here, and I can't remember everyone. Um, so, do you have any more questions? Uh, wait, so did you register me or not? I, hmm. I guess this is, well, this is me saying I'm already registered, even though I don't think I am, so I guess I'm going to have to find another way to do it? I don't know. Uh, I can come back to this if I need to. Hopefully I can hack my way in or something. Why is everyone wearing that talisman? It's a sign of the rebirth? Mm -hmm. Uh, what material? What material for rebirth were you talking about earlier? Uh, unfortunately, I'm talking about people. Those without radiation burns. Healthy, non-mutated people. The machine regenerates, renews, you could say it revitalizes. But it doesn't create anything. Before entering the machine, one has to undergo operations which replace their organs that are too damaged with new ones, and missing muscle with new muscle. So they need humans for that? Okay. Alright, thank you. This looks like an important room.
that did nothing. Okay, maybe it's not an important room. Not an important room. Oh, yep, that's the elevator to the next level. Maybe activating the alarm from this computer would make the guards come, like, investigate somewhere and I could maybe sneak past them to the next floor, possibly? But the glowing ones are just loitering around on blue six. Okay, so there's even a sixth floor beyond the red five. I wish there was a way to tell which computers would actually do something. Yes. You can't see through the power armor visor, but it's clear he didn't even look at you. His attention is directed towards several screens with maps and reports. Who are you? Who do you think that is there? Tremel, the Reaper's second in command. If you're not coming to me with something important, you better leave me to my duties. So, who's the first in command? <laughs> Why am I saying this stuff? I'm gonna get myself killed. For the savior, of course. Mm -hmm. So you're in charge of all the Rebirth's actions in the wasteland. That's correct. Ambushes, searching for pre-war technologies. Mm-hmm. So, um, any new developments about the 13th? That's me. She was heading to the northwest the whole time, but something's changed recently. According to reports, she's turned around. She's even visiting cities. She would avoid them before. I expect she aims to destroy us, maybe even be working, maybe even by working with the mutant hunters. She's capable of such things. Yes, yes she is. Goodbye. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. I should be using my lockpick thing, not not my lockpick skill, but the actual item in my inventory, although in this case I don't need to. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. I don't know, this is quicker. I'm not having any trouble opening them. This one works. Oh, it's the same as the other one. Hack the security robots, activate alarm. Not just yet. Oh. Almost missed you. Glad I checked. Right, so it looks like my options, aside from killing anybody, but my non-lethal options are to just go through here and see if I am registered somehow? Or hack the terminal and do something. Alright. <clears throat> who are you? My name is James, but it should be me asking who you are. Why? I see you're new here. Let me explain how basic security rules work around here. Okay. You tell the elevator guard in this case your name, and if you've got security clearance, he lets you in. You have to be registered in the system. Leonard will take care of that, so just talk to him if you haven't done that already. That's basically it, and just let me warn you that a guard spots someone who shouldn't be on a certain level will shoot without warning. Okay, so I guess I'll tell the other person my name is, what was it, Max?
How many levels does this complex have? Six. I'm already registered. I uh, don't think that's a good idea, because I don't think I am. But let's try it. What's your <laughs> What's your name, Leonard? Um <laughs> Let's do that. <laughs> I just finished explaining how things work around here, and now you're telling me that you're Leonard. <laughs> I was just testing you. Okay. Uh, yep, this is gonna end a bad show in my face. Yep. Right, let's go register. Sign me up. Uh, Max. Uh, nobody knows that name reported to the guards on the surface. Perhaps it's just a system error, but you understand that we'll need to check you more thoroughly. He signals to the guards. Oh, shit. Have to do this the hard way. Huh. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Did I ever have an option to tell the guard my name was Max? Let's just go all the way back here. Well, I could show him the talisman, but maybe I actually have to, like, sign up. Play it as if I'm a new recruit, right? Ah, uh, this is... no, 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 it's not gonna work. Gotta leave them behind again. Alright, so if you do this, alright, you can go. Yeah, so they think I'm already registered because I have the talisman. Because that's, I guess, the only way to get the talisman. So I think I need to pose as if I'm a new recruit. Which means, if I'm posing as a new recruit, perhaps I could give my talisman to one of my friends? I guess the one that's not... Uh, the one that's in power armor? Leicester? Ah, I don't know. I want to join you. Before I let you on, I have to see your face. Shit! Huh. How do I do this without fighting? I guess I'll try to hack the terminal and see what that does? Oh, um, we're gonna kill you. Mm hmm. There must be a way to do this without fighting. There has to be. Alright, I'll try hacking the system, see what happens. Oh, that's not the one? Which one? Oh, it was this one, wasn't it? There's two that can you can hack normally. That one and this one, I think. So what's this do? Deactivate them. Try to kill everyone. Okay, don't want to do any of that. Alarm. Security staff will reach your location in a few seconds. Uh, don't think that's going to be a good thing, but... What if I just run? No. They're just gonna try to shoot me? Yeah. Okay. Ah, here's what I've missed. I apparently never looked at this computer. This is the administrative computer where I can probably hack my name into the system. Publicly accessible records. Uh-huh, uh-huh. vault -Tec Biological Research Complex, New Mexico. Sure. 
Download the file, the Ultra Stim Pack Project. Sure. Watch the video of the 13th Rebirth. That's me. Um, alright. Oh, I thought it was going to be an actual video. You see ghouls in robes breaking in a naked woman. She's marked by radiation, but what is even more apparent is that her body underwent a series of extensive surgeries. You recognize yourself. Everything is very familiar to you. You recall some pieces of memories which mix with the record you're watching. You approach the machine accompanied by some scientists. You're not able to take your eyes off of it. You don't mind that you're naked. You feel incredibly proud and happy. Put her inside the machine. Mm-hmm. You feel three giant needles entering your back, but since they gave you a lot of sedatives, it doesn't hurt. Everybody steps back, does some stuff. Mm -hmm. I pretty much know what's going to happen. I don't think I really want to read this. You wake up. It can be seen that somebody covered the woman with a cape before they completely disappear from the scene. The clapping and cheering can be still heard. And I think I just leveled up, huh? Yeah, I did. <gasps> yes! This is a very, very good time to get a perk. I'm really not sure what the ideal perk would be, but I do know that I want to pick something that's going to be useful right now, because it's pretty likely I'm not even going to gain a single additional level before I finish the game. So, I, I don't know, I'm just going to go with Dodger. It allows me to avoid more attacks. I gain plus five to my armor class, in addition to the AC bonus from any armor worn. Uh, sure. There's some others, like I almost want to go with bonus rate of fire, which makes it so it costs one less AP per uh, ranged weapon attack. Uh, but I looked at how many action points it takes for me to shoot any of the weapons that I use, and that wouldn't actually really allow me to do anything more. I still wouldn't be able to take two aimed shots of my sniper rifle or the browning rifle, so it wouldn't really help. I don't know, there's some other things like better criticals. Actually, better criticals might be good. 20% bonus on the critical hit table. So I guess that makes it... Yeah, so it doesn't increase my chance of getting a crit, but when I do get a crit, I do more damage. I don't know. Let's go with that. Sure. And I'm pretty sure there's no way I'm going to get my repair skill anywhere near high enough to be able to repair that thing, I'm thinking. So I'm going to go with the big gun skill, because I can use that for the anti-material rifle that I have in my inventory. I don't know if you remember that I have that, but I do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's considered a heavy weapon, so perhaps I'll be able to make use of that. Okay. Administrative menu. Hack it. Register a new person. Max. Oh, can I keep going? I'm registered for yellow 2, but what about yellow 3? Not possible. I could just try to bypass the security protocols. <laughs> Let's do that. There we go. Done. <laughs> Let's just do everything. Allocate um, additional gear. Bypass. No! balls. Now, is it a random skill check, or is that just, like, never gonna work? New person, max, yellow three, bypass, additional gear. Huh. That makes me want to go back and put more points in my science skill to see if I can do it. I'm going to do it. Alright, I'm going to do the most ridiculous thing. I'm going to do the perk that allows me to get the most points in science. So I'm going to go with here and now, which gives me an additional experience level right now. Wait, how many skill points did I have before? 
Did I only have 10 and it doubled it to 20? I thought I normally have 20. Hold on. What if I go back in the... Oh, okay, yeah. I just had to go back in the menu. Okay, there we go. Wait, what am I doing? No, I put it into speech. I'm an idiot. Alright, there we go. My science skill is 148%. Alright, let's see how this goes. I want that additional gear. New person, yellow three, bypass. Okay, additional gear, bypass. Yeah! It works! Additional weapon. Hmm. What are the chances that the weapon would be something that I can actually use? Very low, but I'm curious. Oh, I, can I push my luck and also get the Ultra Stimpaks? So, retrieved in the storeroom on yellow 3. Okay. Oh, yeah, there we go. Got both. Alright. Well, that worked out well, but let's see if we can keep pushing. I assume I can enter again. Red 5? Haha, <laughs> it's granted! Access card will be issued by Fergus in the research laboratory on Yellow 3. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool! Unfortunately, I couldn't hack my, my access all the way down to level 6, so there's still one floor that I don't think I have access to. But yeah, it looks like that's all I can do from here. I'm pretty satisfied about that. Okay. Got a weapon waiting for us, Ultra Stim Packs waiting for us, everybody's just waiting with our key cards. Okay, I'm already registered. Max, you can pass. Alright. We're on level one, right? Yeah. Oh, no. I don't know if there's any reason to go to level 2, since I have access to level 3, but, um, maybe? I do have the documents that I downloaded from that thing, by the way. I don't really care to look at them that much, to be honest. Where are they? Are they here? Oh. Oh, they don't automatically go to the bottom, do they? Because I think this is one of them. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to read that. Interest impact project. Nah. I'll just talk to anybody who looks important. failure. <laughs> Alright, good luck there. Oh, it's locked. Who are you? Cecilia, I'm in charge of the kitchen. Look, if you're not here for food, piss off. Um, yeah, I'll choose something random. She hands you a tray with this she sloppily puts some mash using a ladle. Try it. Uh, you try a little bit and find your hopes were futile. It tastes just as it looks, maybe even worse. Without further thinking, you give the tray back to Cecilia. <laughs> look at you. Uh, look at her, another spoiled brat. You'll be back when you're hungry. She throws the contents of the tray back into the pot. Ew.
I guess... I don't know. I don't think there really is any reason to talk to anybody. I could probably find some loot, but... Meh. Same thing as before, alarm, hack the security robots. So I'm supposed to meet somebody down here to pick up my keycard, right? This Mr. Handy looks important. This robot underwent a couple of adjustments. Its locomotor system was removed for being redundant, but the operative arms were upgraded function. Your voice activated it. This robotic unit was modified to be able to assist with mechanical upgrades of small and heavy class weapons. To access those functions, it is necessary to state the corresponding password. Uh, let's try to hack it. And done. Okay. Small weapon. Mm. You have no idea how to upgrade any of the small weapons you've got with you. You don't know enough about small weapons nor how to modify them. Okay. What about the heavy weapons upgrade? No clue. Maybe next time. <laughs> Alright. Wonderful. Is it because I need the repair skill? Because it, it made it sound like it checks just the corresponding weapon skill. And my weapon skill, I mean, it's 123%. That's pretty good. Oh, this is where I'm supposed to pick up my equipment too, right? Uh, he points at a disassembled weapon on a table. Laser rifle. Type Watts 2000. Shoots separated pulses of powerful laser rays. Mm-hmm. This one doesn't work and I can't figure out what the problem is. Right. Would you like to talk to me and not focus on trying to repair the weapon? Okay, so they won't talk with me unless the weapon's fixed. Maybe I can fix it? <laughs> with my repair skill? <laughs> Probably not. Where's this... Where's this weapon that supposedly exists? Ooh, this one's a tough one. Let's bring out the big guns. Uh, did I just drop it? Ah. I thought it was... Oh, there we go. Even with that, still failed. There we go. Better be something good. Oh, I guess that's the plasma rifle. <laughs> that's too heavy. Well, I definitely don't need that. And I don't need this. Small energy cell, I won't need that. I don't think I need two plasma transformers. Or a carton of cigarettes. Or a radio. Okay, can I take it now? Yes. Modified Winchester P94 plasma rifle. The plasma bolt chamber has been hotwired to accelerate the bolt formation process. So, most likely a heavy weapon, right? Probably not something I'm going to use with my heavy weapon skill, but maybe. Practice targets. Hmm. 
You look important. What's your name? Oh, this is the person that's going to give me my equipment. Max. Uh, let's see, you should get a gun. I can give you a flamer, a rocket launcher, a minigun, or a super sledge. Well. What would be the most useful? Obviously not a super sledge, but anything else is kind of like, sure, I'll be equally bad at all of it. Rocket launcher? And one laser pistol and two ultra stim packs on top of it. Thanks. Yeah, I'm overloaded. Thought so. Watts 1000 laser pistol. Don't... I think I'm gonna need that. Also, I guess I'm just gonna drop that. I don't really need to go in the storeroom. That's to level 4. So I probably need to talk to this person to get my keycard. Or whatever it is I need to get. Who are you? Uh, give me the access card to the red level. Mm -hmm. Max. Uh, it's odd. It seems that your authorization wasn't approved, and what's more, you're not registered for a long enough time. Uh oh. I'll need to check it with Leonard. Ah, oh, damn. Leonard mentioned that he's got some problems with the computer. This must be a result of it. Uh, I'll get it fixed immediately. Don't worry about it. Well. Fine, as long as I'm not the one fixing the problem. Come back when your records are straightened out. Shit. How do I fix that? Hmm. Okay, I think I need to explore this level more. Let's play a game. The game is, are any of these computers actually functional? This one looks pretty important. Aha, I think so. Yep. Let's save the game first. This will probably fix my problem. Hack it. Look through the accessible technical schemes of energy weapons. Sure. Don't find anything interesting. Okay. Let's do the card. Max, red 5. Mm hmm. Oh. So I just bypassed it entirely. I don't even need to get the key card from him. I think I. Yeah, just got it. Although I already got one. <laughs> but this one is for Robert. This one's for actually me. Okay, goodbye. I can give him the card name to Robert. Just out of curiosity, what does that do? Um, gives it back to you. They were looking for you, Robert. Again, and don't even think about going to Red 5. Ah, so they don't actually have access to it. Wait. Oh, no, I can get to uh, 4, I guess. Because I'm on level 3 right now. Well, anyway, let's give them the max one.
Wait a minute, was one of the computer parts on level 3? I know one of them was on 5, but I think the other was on level 3. Ah, it doesn't matter, does it? I don't think I'm going to be able to repair that thing. Oh. That's all the humans they use for the project, I guess. All the sacrifices. This thing looks fancy. I, mean, I guess I could just go down to level 5, but let's explore a bit. What brings you to this almost forgotten room? My name's Kath, if we haven't met before, that is. What is it you do here? This machine here makes vault jumpsuits, robes, and other resistant clothing. It's fully automated, you just flip a switch and then supervise. And that's my job, so I practically do nothing here. Why vault jumpsuits? This complex originally supplied jumpsuits to several of the nearest vaults. That's why it was built here too. But we make jumpsuits only for the reborn, no one else. That makes it... One jumpsuit per year. Just each time with a different number. Let's be a smartass. What about when you get to Reborn 100? The number won't fit their back anymore. Haha, <laughs> funny. We won't have to wait a hundred years for the day of rebirth for all. I hope. Could you give me a robe? Sure. Here you go, you can make a blanket out of it or whatever. Thanks. What kind of research takes place here? Uh, apparently they're trying to lower the number of donors needed for a single rebirth. That's about as much as I know. Hmm. Oh, thank you for the robe. Now I know I already had a robe somewhere, but I think I probably hoisted onto hoisted it onto one of my followers. Yeah, I did. So it's good that I got another one, not that I'm ever gonna need it. I'm just thinking, how am I going to destroy this base? Because if I do initiate some sort of self-destruct thing, then I'm going to want to get these donors out. I don't want to kill them, too. I don't know. Let's just go to floor 5 and see what happens. getting creepier and creepier as we go down. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to explore Floor 5 and hopefully Floor 6.